has always been and will always be. You know, we rely on each other and everything else as well. And as two countries who have, like India has been our 911 call. Uh, whenever we need it, we give a call and you'll come to our rescue. So that kind of friend, you know, when you see such disparaging remarks about friends like this, it is sad for everyone concerned. Right. Uh, Ma'am, as we speak, the Moldavian president is in China for his state visit. Uh, you know, defying his earlier predecessors who had visited India first as their foreign destination. What do you make out of such things, you know, when the relationship between India and Malay are already not as far good as it was earlier? I think, you know, it is a short-sightedness on the uh, part of uh, the present administration to see things like that. You know, it's it, we are a small country who are friends with all, but we cannot deny that we share borders with India, we share many, uh, similar security concerns. Uh, uh, India has always helped us. They have been helping us even in the defense sector with capacity building, providing us with equipment trying to make us more self-sufficient. Uh, we are like-minded in our uh, quest for democracy, you know, human rights, respect for human rights and things like this. So uh, it's a very short-sightedness on uh, the part of the present government uh, to really uh, think, you know, that uh, we can uh, really try to like not keep the age-old relationship that we have always had with India. Right. Uh, Ma'am, since you have been the defense minister, if you can explain, you know, the defense cooperation that the two countries share, because defense and security has been, you know, one of the bedrock of the cooperation between India and Maldives. And also since we know that uh, President Moizu has been talking about, you know, the uh, the, uh, asking about the withdrawal of Indian troops, Indian military from uh, the island. So how do you see that as well? I mean, we have never had troops in the traditional sense in the Maldives. As part of the defense cooperation, India has offered us technical support, you know, to uh, purely on a humanitarian basis to bring our uh, ill people from the islands to uh, Mali. You know, the uh, equipment that were gi uh, given in uh, to Maldives have always been there to help us, you know, to assist us in the humanitarian evacuation of our people. And uh, the helicopters that were there, the Donia that's there, they are completely under the command and control of MNDF in the sense we tell them, the MNDF tells them when to fly and how to fly and what to do about it. So it's never been a question of like uh, Indian troops being here or anything like that. They have been here to help us on our government's request. Several governments, you know, successive governments have requested that they come and help us. Then the Donia has been helping us as well with medical evacuations, as well as, you, you know, a search and rescue. You know, we have been able to uh, apprehend many drug uh, bus uh, uh, with the help of the Indian Donia. So uh, it has been helping us keep our citizens safe. And it's sad that we do not see it that way. Right. Uh, Ma'am, just last question. Do you think this uh, the controversy, the diplomatic row between the two countries will have an impact on the relationship as we move forward from your? I, I would think, you know, as close friends, as neighbors, as uh, uh, part of the global community, and uh, we would 
keep our international commitments and we will keep our uh, Maldives government would keep our traditional foreign policy of being friends with everyone, you know, it's, and of course, uh, we've always had an India first policy. And I hope they continue it, that they recognize that you're the closest neighbor, that you will be the people who have always come and will come in the future also when the need arises.